This is the final analysis. This is the conclusion of the study. Uh, this is a prospective randomized study looking at open versus minimally invasive radical hysterectomy in patients with early cervical cancer. And we were looking at specifically at, at disease-free survival, but we we're also following a number of other oncologic outcomes like on overall survival. And in this particular analysis also, we did an exploratory evaluation of other factors that we felt would be crucial to have this information about the patients enrolled in the, in the study. The, the main findings of the study, obviously looking at the disease-free survival, which was the primary objective, was that there was a significantly worse disease-free survival in patients who underwent the minimally invasive approach compared to the open approach. Recurrence rates were four times higher for patients who have a minimally invasive surgery, which means laparoscopy or robotic surgery, when compared to the open approach. Um, similarly, we found that at the, at the completion of the follow-up of four and a half years, uh, for 100% of the patients who were eligible to be followed at that time, uh, the overall survival was significantly worse for patients who underwent laparoscopy or robotic radical hysterectomy to me compared to the, uh, to the open approach. So those were the main uh, oncologic findings. And then, as I mentioned, we, we had a number of uh, uh, exploratory analyses that we, uh, we wanted to evaluate and we presented those here as well. You know, certainly it's already been reflective. When we initially uh, published our um, evaluation of disease-free survival back in 2018, um, since that time there has been a complete change in all of the guidelines um, that govern our uh, specialty. So uh, not only the National Comprehensive Cancer Network, but uh, guidelines from societies like the European Society of Gynecologic Oncology, um, the Euro European Society of Medical Oncology, FIGO, and the NICE in the United Kingdom all of them now recommend that the standards should be open radical hysterectomies for patients with early cervical cancer. Um, moving forward, then I think certainly based on the results of the, of the study, which is obviously the final analysis of the study, that do confirm the initial findings that uh, patients should not undergo a minimally invasive approach outside of a clinical trial. Um, so certainly that is very important for patients to know, uh, for families and patients to understand that if they need a radical hysterectomy for cervical cancer, the considered standard is an open approach unless they're enrolling in a clinical trial.